It is an amazing 45 degrees out this morning. I love the fall. The incredible painting of Felix Clouseau. In Paris, the Royal Palace was holding its grand art contest. From all over the city, painters came to show their pictures. One of them was an unknown painter named Felix Clouseau. All the great artists were there. Gaston du Stroganoff showed his king on his throne. Felicien Café au lait showed king on horseback. Alphonse Le Camembert showed the king in armor. Then Clouseau showed his painting. Outrageous, the judges cried. Never had they seen such a ridiculous painting. Then, suddenly, quack, a noise came from the painting. The judges were stunned. Clouseau was awarded the grand prize. They called him a genius. It was the first time in history a painting had quacked. But that was only half of it. Clouseau became famous. He was hailed from one side of Paris to the other. Even the king commissioned a painting. But soon, there was trouble. The wealthy baroness owned a Clouseau painting called The Sleeping Boa Constrictor. One night, it awoke from a painting all the way there. In fact, wherever there was a Clouseau canvas, there was chaos. Smoke from the volcano, Water from the waterfall. What a mess. The public was furious. There were damages. Somebody had to pay. So, Clouseau was sent to prison. Clouseau's paintings were seized. All except one. Look at that. Fruit coming out of the cornucopia. Palm tree coming out of the painting. Meanwhile, a notorious jewel thief was on the loose. All over Paris, diamonds, emeralds, and sapphires were missing. One night, the thief broke into the king's palace to steal the crown. The next morning, to the king's surprise, he found the thief caught in the grasp of a ferocious dog. The crown was saved. The Clouseau painting dog saved the crown from being stolen. Clouseau was a hero now. He was awarded the Medal of Honor. Released from prison, he went back to his studio. And returned to his painting. That's so meta. So who painted him? Bum, bum, bum.